What's up guys? Toast again from Fish Yacker. Had some people asking what the status of the Susquehanna River Fish Yacker jet boat is. Let's take a look. Not done yet, but it's coming together. So guys, this is my Express HD 17 VJ jet boat that I use here on the Susquehanna River when I'm not in a kayaks. This is an awesome platform for fishing rocky moving rivers. I've got a 6040 jet mercury on it, four stroke. Love that thing. It purrs, super quiet, starts up on the uh, first crank every time and only sips gas. That thing is awesome. I love it. I have put the whale tail on it. As we talked about before, down here, I've got the flotation pods welded on on both sides. Those work awesome for raising up the stern of the boat. Helps to get on plane a whole lot better too. So people have been asking how well the pods work. They work 100%. They are amazing, no gripes whatsoever. And actually makes a little platform off the stern to uh, get in and out of the boat if you need to. Moving forward from there a little bit, I've got dual bilge pumps. One is automatic with a switch and one is on a control panel that I installed up here. So I got some redundancy. Here you see, I actually have the uh, boat 45 degree track adapter there for Yak Attack. Going up to my camera mount, I don't actually have the GoPro on that now, but that's where the GoPro is. When you see that kind of point of view over the shoulder shot, very similar to what I do on the kayaks. Across, I've got another one. So depending on the stern angler, the co-angler, what side they want to fish off of. Just in front of that, you see some of the uh, wake up jigging lures over here. That's actually, you might've seen that in some of my other videos, is a Harbor Freight magnet strip. And I actually have Yak Attack T-bolts on either end and I, uh, bedlined it to help keep it in one piece. The seats were originally really worn camo. I actually took fabric paint, took them off and uh, took them apart, repainted them. They look really clean. I've got a bungee here holding the motor in place so it doesn't turn when I'm on the road. Far side over here, Yak Attack again. I've got a Yak Attack cleat. This boat didn't have cleats on it at the time. I'm running two 12 volt batteries here on the stern. Uh, one where I can run the electronics and one is strictly for starting. Right down here under the rear deck, got your control, your kill switch. Here I've actually got a Yak Attack retractor. Uh, on this, I actually keep the keys when I'm on the water. And then I put that of course onto my life jacket for the kill switch. But that way I know the keys are always there even if they fall out. Pretty cool. Again, the uh, control panel. Almost exactly like the other one that I had on here. I've got my uh, plug here, 12 volts. I've got my bilge pump. This goes to my console fish finder. Got a couple spares. I actually got three spares here still. Pretty cool. Put a Yak Attack track up here with a little whistle for my uh, audible device. My favorite here, the Yak Attack cup holder. Over there is an older style Yak Attack camera mount. I can turn that 360, I can open it up and put it up straight and get the co-angler or get the front angle. That's a cool shot you see when we're actually motoring, looking right at us. Here's one of my favorites right here, guys. Check it out. Again, Yak Attack, it's one of their uh, fish finder mounts. This thing works not just in kayaks, but this thing works awesome in the boats. I've got a Lowrance Elite FS here, running off to a three-in-one transducer off the stern. Got the light pole mounted here, the stern pole on the opposite side. I have a fire extinguisher and the bow mount. You might be wondering about this little job here. It's a DIY 
live well. Opens right up. Replace uh, to put some heavier duty clips there on the top. It's aerated inside, fused, 12 volt. And I've got a separate pump there I can stick over the side and load it up. And I put a switch on it right down here. And when I want to run that, plugs on either side, I've shown them in other videos, SAE plugs. They run to dual 12 volt batteries that I have up here under the bow. So I can actually charge the batteries here or I can run electronics off of them. Similar to back here, again, there is your plugs there. You can either run independently off of them or charge off of your stern batteries. To charge them, just put a triple charger onto it. Got a switch here for my navigation lights. Working around, I got another, some more wake up jigging lures there and another Harbor Freight track with some Yak Attack T-bolts on it. Another one of the uh, handy dandy cup holders that I usually don't even put cups in. Put all sorts of stuff in. Replaced the leaning butt seat here on the front to eliminate some weight. It's a retracting one so I can extend it up and down. It's got the cleat on it. Wow, what is this thing? This is a Lowrance HDS Live. Highest level of a trans uh, fish finder that they have for Lowrance. I'm not done wiring it in. It is going to be networked, Ethernet networked with the stern. Again, on a Yak Attack mount, Yak Attack track. And this job right here is going to be the active target Lowrance. It turns. It's got a piece of conduit, 90 degree conduit on it, run down to an aluminum pole. And I've got the ends capped with epoxy. And this is a little job that I jerry rigged out of a bunch of different Yak Attack accessories. Works awesome. And I've got a sleeve here melted like into it, molded, pressed, and bed lined on top either end of it. I have, these are actually dumbbell clamps. They fit perfectly on a one inch piece of uh, tubing. So that's gonna be run up here to the front unit. Still working my way around. Down here again, you've got a, the console here with all the plugs. You got the two 12 volt SAEs and your trolling motor plug. Those are running the two batteries up under the front. If you haven't had a good look at the track system they put on a lot of the express boats here. That's how they're running it. Again, it's a track system, similar to what we've been using on the kayaks for years. So track mounted accessories work great on these. The propulsion system here on the bow, that is a motor guide Tor Pro. That thing is awesome. It's got remote GPS and uh, foot control. This thing is amazing. It's got anchor mode. You can uh, set the directions to take you to. Uh, it's got the, well, based on compass headings, everything. This thing is just amazing. And you can also network it in and put the transducer inside the lower unit of it. Amazing. This thing is cool. Love that. So again, you can network those right into your fish finders too. Still working my way around. Another look at it here. Again, it looks like a stealth fighter or something. Looks like something off of like the old Battlestar Galactica. That thing's awesome. Here is one of my favorites. I actually use... Uh, one of the extension parking poles, the Yak Attack stakeout poles. It's a three piece, so it's got the three sections. I actually use that to stake out, and I can actually stick it in the same holder here, that sleeve that I use for the uh, active target, but I can use it as a push pole. Comes in super handy, love it. Here I've got a bunch of Yak Attack rod holders. Again, they're in the tracks. I can put my rods upright or I can lay them down when I'm shooting through uh, the chutes. Shooting through chutes, I guess I, that's, I guess that sounds okay. But uh, yeah, I can also put nets, like a leverage landing net there from Yak Attack. I usually keep a uh, scale on here, a digital scale. Right now I've still got 
my lip grippers on it. You can see across there again, uh, the fire extinguisher and the bow light. Another look looking over towards the console. Back over here again. Again, some of uh, Matt's wake up jigging lures. The other point for the uh, over the shoulder poles from Yak Attack. Again, sometimes I will run dual back here and I can mount them all along the sides and I can use those 90 degree adapters on those tracks there too. But here, what I've basically done is just use the uh, pole clips, mounted them in here on the gunnel. Works like a champ. Back here to the stern. There's your pot again. Ignore the mess. That goes down to one of the uh, bilge pumps. There's your automatic one. Got the other one over there. Got a, uh, I believe it's a 16 gallon tank on this. And it, like I said, this power plant sips fuel. That's it, that's what it looks like right now. Still got some more stuff to do, guys. This thing is awesome. I really dig it. It moves along pretty darn well. Got a few more things to go on here. You know, for instance, uh, one of my goals is to put some uh, all lithium batteries in here, which will probably take it down to about another 100 pounds, actually, between the four batteries. I love it. Very cool. Big shout out to uh, Yak Attack for helping out on the project so far. And Lawrence and Motor Guide. Could have done it all without those guys. But uh, there you go. Here's my update on the Susquehanna River sled. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to give us that thumbs up, share the video on all your social media outlets, subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel if you do nothing else, <laughs> and we'll catch you on the water. FishYacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.